Is math something we discover, like finding a hidden treasure? Or is it something we create, like building a house? Welcome to Namawise, where we explore fascinating ideas in philosophy and the mysteries of life. Today, we're diving into this intriguing idea called mathematical Platonism to uncover what it's all about. So, what is mathematical Platonism? It's the idea that things like numbers, shapes, and equations exist on their own, whether we're here to think about them or not. These things, what we call mathematical objects, are like invisible parts of reality. They're always there, waiting for us to find them. But what are these mathematical objects? Don't worry, it's simpler than it sounds. They're things like the idea of counting two apples, the shape of a perfectly round coin, or the concept of something that goes on forever, like infinity. Mathematical Platonism says these things don't depend on us. They exist, even if no one is around to think about them. Imagine this, if humans never existed, would the idea of counting two apples still make sense? Would a circle still be a circle? According to mathematical Platonism, yes, they would. We don't invent numbers or shapes. We discover them like explorers uncovering hidden truths about the world. This idea doesn't just apply to math. It connects to a bigger question in philosophy, what is real? When you look at a tree, what makes it a tree? Is it just the way it looks, or is there something deeper? Metaphysics, the branch of philosophy that studies what's real, asks these kinds of questions. Now, let's bring in a famous philosopher, Plato. Plato believed that the world we see is just a shadow of a deeper, more perfect world. He called these perfect things forms. For example, the perfect idea of a circle exists, even if we can't draw it perfectly. Mathematical Platonism takes this idea and says numbers and shapes are part of this deeper reality. Later on, in the 19th century, a mathematician named Gottlob Frege added to this idea. Frege said that when we talk about math, we're not just making stuff up. We're pointing to something real, something that exists outside of our minds. For Gottlob Frege, mathematical truths are like facts about the world, just as real as physical objects like rocks or trees. But here's the big question. If mathematical objects exist independently of us, how do we know about them? How can we understand something that isn't physical, something we can't touch, see, or hear? This is where it gets tricky. Some philosophers like W. V. O. Quine had a different idea. He thought we learn about math by observing the world around us. For example, when we see patterns in nature or use math to solve problems, we're connecting with these ideas in a practical way. But not everyone agrees. A philosopher named Paul Benekarov asked a tough question. If mathematical objects are outside of space and time, how can we ever truly know they're there? How can we be sure they're real? This is the heart of the debate. Do we really discover math, or are we just creating ways to understand the world? Think about this. When you solve a math problem, are you uncovering a hidden truth or building something new from scratch? So what's your take? Is math like finding a treasure that's always been there? Or is it like painting a picture, something we create from our imagination? Whatever your answer, one thing is clear. Math is deeply connected to the mysteries of reality. Thanks for joining us on Namawise. If you enjoyed this journey into mathematical Platonism, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you next time.